Police say that uh, the disturbances, the riot that was in the neighborhood of Rinkaby on Monday night, that that's something that periodically happens in that community, uh, a community which has a large immigrant community, but also uh, a great deal of unemployment and, and low uh, education levels as well. In that uh, series of incidents, one police officer was injured when a, uh, an object hit them in the arm. Uh, and we went to that neighborhood, and it was kind of hard to even find evidence of the damage with, that resulted in 10 cars being burned. But it is that kind of thing that has driven a, a right-wing political party here, the Sweden Democrats, to see ideologically uh, themselves side by side with Donald Trump when he brought up Sweden. Take a listen to what one of that party's leaders said to me earlier today. It was good. Um, I'm very grateful to President Trump that he addressed this issue. It's very important to us here. And I also understand the motive to why he did it. There's a discussion uh, right now about border control and uh, refugees in, in the United States. And I think Sweden is a good example to put forward as a bad example. Now, it's important to note that the government here insists that there is not any direct correlation between the big surge of immigration of asylum seekers that came, particularly in 2015, about 165,000 of them uh, seeking asylum here uh, at, at the peak, and crime or uh, organized crime in this country, which is something that it has struggled with for a long time. Uh, and it's important to note what one prominent former politician, Carl Bildt, former prime minister, former foreign minister, what he wrote in response to Donald Trump on Twitter, quote, last year, there were approximately 50 percent more murders only in Orlando and Orange County in Florida, where Trump spoke the other day, than in all of Sweden. Bad. So police I've talked to, counterterrorism experts I've talked to, they say that they are not seeing the new refugee arrivals being responsible for any Islamist-inspired terrorist attacks or organized crime, that the problems that they are seeing are coming from Swedish-born citizens. There are problems that people are dealing with uh, that have been in existence for some time.